What is going on everybody? Jonathan here. Welcome back to Gig Nation where we talk about everything related to the gig economy. If you haven't yet, make sure to join that Facebook group and be part of the conversation outside of YouTube. I love getting the conversation going and we talk about a ton in this group. Uh, but today we're going to talk about some of the highest paying offers that I have gotten with the new DoorDash pay model. Uh, for those of you that have been following the channel, you know that I actually made a video about those $2 offers and you know some of those $3 offers that have been popping up because those are crazy. I mean, we're seeing them, we're seeing some really low offers, but we're also seeing some really high offers. And personally, I haven't been accepting the low offers. I have a delivery minimum. If an offer is not above $8, I don't even look at it. I immediately uh, just drop that offer. I don't accept it. I won't take anything that's at least eight bucks and I like stuff that's a lot higher. I've actually rejected offers as high as 13 or 14 bucks. If it's taking me too far away or in a direction somewhere that I don't wanna go, then I absolutely decline it. Uh, but I have not been touching these low offers and after you know being uh, very smart about that, you know, keeping my fundamentals, not taking the low offers, I have been rewarded with some very high offers. I'm gonna show you guys those in a minute. But before we get into that, I actually just wanna talk about this new DoorDash pay model and why I actually love it so much. I think this thing is awesome. Uh, in the past, you know, I had delivered for DoorDash here and there. Honestly, most of what I did delivering for DoorDash was just a few orders every now and then if I really needed something. They're always busy, they always do give you orders. They're just, they never were that high pain in the old pay model, at least for me in Seattle. So most of my orders were with Grubhub or Amazon Flex Instant Offers when they used to have those here. Now I liked making content for DoorDash, you know, here and there, and I definitely logged on enough so that I could make some cool videos. But now I'm actually spending more time out there on the road delivering because quite frankly, I can get the payouts that I want when I'm on the app. This new pay model and this new app quite frankly, makes it a lot easier to actually be a real independent contractor on the DoorDash app. Now in the past, uh, the delivery minimum in Seattle was usually about six bucks. Now there was peak pay on top of that. And at one point in time, it would get up to like four or five bucks. But uh, you know, towards like the last few, maybe four or five months before this new pay model was released, I never really saw it get any higher than a dollar per order. So trying to keep you know my delivery acceptance rate to 80% on every block that I was on, just for that $1 extra payout and maybe a tip, you know, I didn't see these tips all that often, just wasn't worth it when I was getting much higher offers uh, from other apps out there. But now I've actually been getting into it. Now I can't take all of the credit for how well things have been going. Uh, I've actually been bringing my buddy along for ride alongs and he showed up in one of the past videos. His name is Dikembe Mutombo. He's one of the leading shot blockers in the NBA of all time. And he actually, he comes along to help me reject orders because I don't like seeing those uh, low paying offers. So I bring him along and then when something pops up, when it's like two, three bucks, honestly, even as high as four or five dollars, uh, he helps me just reject those to tell DoorDash no so that I can get those higher paying offers coming through. And now that I've been doing this for a while, yes, I really am getting some high payout orders. So let me show you guys a few of these. And the first one I'm gonna show you guys was a pretty sweet order. It was 27 bucks. Now that pickup was at the Ram restaurant, which is a little under two miles away from where I'm at. Uh, so super quick. And then the drop off from there was like another uh, 1.7 miles. Uh, all in all, it was you know around four miles total. Uh, and the payout was 27 bucks. So there was like a $5, uh, you know, delivery payout that DoorDash sent me. And then the rest of that was tip. It was all good tip money. And this is by far the highest paying offer that I've seen so far. Now I've also seen a lot of other good offers. I have another one that I'll pull up. Uh, there was about 16 bucks and I believe this was about a six mile delivery. Now, unfortunately, DoorDash isn't gonna show me these statistics in the app. They don't really break it down. Uh, with mileage, distance traveled, and they obviously don't show you the breakdown for what they're paying you. Not a lot of transparency here, a lot of mystery, but you know, honestly, as long as I can see up front what I'm making, I guess I don't really need that breakdown. It would be nice to have it, and I think that DoorDash would definitely avoid a lot of the outcry of, you know, what are they paying me? How does this work? Uh, if they were transparent, and you know, I've showed it before, they do have a model that describes how they pay drivers. Um, it's it's semi clear, but they don't actually give an equation for this with real numbers. So we don't actually know where that's coming from. Uh, but you know, all of that aside, that's really a tangent. As long as you know what you're getting before you accept the order, 
who really cares because you only have to accept those high paying orders. So I've also gotten a lot of other, you know, decent payout offers for like 11 bucks and 12 bucks. And as I mentioned earlier, I've actually been rejecting some high payout offers uh, just because I like to stay in North Seattle. I don't want to end up downtown or in South Seattle because I'm not trying to get that far into it. I don't want to end up in traffic and I don't want to end up like really far away from my house by the time I'm trying to end. Uh, for a lot of people, it would make sense to take those. Obviously, I might be being a little bit greedy by knocking down these, you know, $13 offers occasionally, but I'm an independent contractor. I get to make that decision. Uh, it's really entirely on me and it's my choice. And, you know, you guys obviously should be making the same choices. Only take those high payout offers. If you were running your own business, uh, let's say you were uh, a handyman and people were offering you like 20 bucks to come in and fix a fence. People would, you know, tell you you're crazy and you would not be able to run a business if you were to accept offers like that. Uh, DoorDash is nothing different. This is your own business and you got to reject all of those low, pay low payout offers. So let me know down in the comments below what your highest paying order has been and what you're averaging, what orders you're rejecting, what your threshold minimum is. I'd love to hear all of that, uh, what you guys are kind of using as, as strategy and metrics to accept orders. Uh, let me know down below in the comment section. And as always, uh, check out gigsharks.com. It's a website I've been working on for the past month or so, and it kind of just helps you find gigs in your area. Now, obviously, I don't have it uh, up for all cities everywhere in the U.S. yet. I'm working on that. I'm going to get there slowly but surely. But check it out because there's some cool stuff that I've listed, and it's really just to help you find other uh, opportunities in the gig economy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, show me a little bit of love, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome updates in the gig economy.